Good morning, everyone. This is 2022 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ, and today is March 1st, Tuesday. Hopefully, this devotion may lead you to listen to the Word of God this morning and let your heart be focused on God every day. Then, let's get started. March 1st, Tuesday. Isaiah chapter 58, verses 1 through 9. Shout loudly, don't hold back. Raise your voice like a trumpet. Announce to my people their crime, to the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day, desiring knowledge of my ways, like a nation that acted righteously, that didn't abandon their God. They ask me for righteous judgments, wanting to be close to God. Why do we fast and you don't see? Why afflict ourselves and you don't notice? Yet, on our fast day, you do whatever you want and oppress all your workers. You quarrel and brawl, and then you fast. You hit each other violently with your fists. You shouldn't fast as you are doing today if you want to make your voice heard on high. Is this the kind of fast I choose, a day of self-affliction, of bending one's head like a reed, and of lying down in mourning clothing and ashes? Is this what you call a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? Isn't this the fast I choose? releasing wicked restraints, untying the ropes of a yoke, setting free the mistreated, and breaking every yoke? Isn't it sharing your bread with the hungry and bringing the homeless poor into your house, covering the naked when you see them, and not hiding from your own family? Then your light will break out like the dawn, and you will be healed quickly. Your own righteousness will walk before you, and the Lord's glory will be your rear guard. Then you will call, and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help, and God will say, I'm here. Amen. Many is the time I've had someone show up at church after a long absence, explaining their return like this. I've been going through a tough time in my life, big problems. I thought I needed to get back with God. I tried drugs, only made things worse. Then I got addicted to alcohol, hit bottom. Now I think it's time for me to try Jesus said another. As a pastor, I've shafted at their no atheists in foxholes religion. They ignored God until the bullets were sailing past, until they had tried everything. And then, in utter desperation, they decided to try Jesus. People should love God at all times of our lives. God ought to be on our minds in good days as well as bad. What does it say that some people only pray when they are going down for the third time, having exhausted all other alternatives and are at the end of their rope? It says that they are at last ready to meet the God who reaches out to us in Scripture. Then you will call and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help and God will say, I am here. So many times in Scripture, God says, in effect, though you forgot me, I haven't forgotten you. When we call out to God in times of deepest distress, we are calling out to the God who, in every moment of our lives, through good times and bad, constantly calls to us. What should I say when people who were absent from God or forgetful of God show up at church or seek spiritual help in their times of desperation? Wonderful. 
God's been waiting for you to call. Let's pray. Lord, our help in time of need, help us to call on you, even when we don't feel that we need you. Amen. Thank you for joining this morning, and I want to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.